It's the end of the day and I wanted to go through my nighttime skincare routine with you guys. So first things first, I always use my Wella Ultimate Repair Spray. I will link it down below. One of the things I really en enjoy about this spray is one, the smell. The smell smells like amazing. I always get compliments on my hair whenever I spray this. It really helps with detangling my hair. Since my hair is so long, it sometimes can hurt if I don't have a leave-in spray. When I'm combing through it, it gets a little tangled at the end. So this makes it easier and my hair just kind of combs through like butter, which I love. So the next thing we're going to go on to is my new Erna Laszlo products. The first product that I'm going to use is the cream to foam cleanser the second product I'm gonna use is the micro essence which is like a toner and lastly we're gonna go in with the nighttime skin moisturizer so I also wanted to add in two items which were the eye mask as well as this little cute headband that they gave us so let's go ahead and throw that on once my hair is back nice and tight and out of my way and my face, I go in with my water to just make sure that my face is damp. And then I went in with the cream to foam cleanser on the palm of my hand. I wanted to make sure I followed the instructions to a T, so I added a little bit of water to it and made it foamy before applying it to my skin. The directions made sure to specify to focus on your T-zone, so I went ahead and I did that and I gave myself a little massage. I highly encourage if you guys do wash your face like this at the end of the day, just go in a little bit longer on your skin and give yourself some love. It really does make a difference and it just makes you feel a little more relaxed, which is something that I truly enjoy. So don't be afraid to just take your time. There's no rush and you deserve it. The instructions do state to only use this cleanser at night, but I have also been using it in the morning just to test it out. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going in with my face towel and I'm just going to pat my skin dry and try not to rub my skin. I learned that rubbing your skin with a towel can sometimes make it more red and irritated, so just pat dry your skin. Once that is done, I go in with one of these little pads and I put some of the essence on there. Again, the essence is like a toner. It does have little micro beads in it, but they aren't harsh. They actually burst once they hit your skin and they have meadow foam and they also have raspberry oil in them. So very gentle and it definitely doesn't irritate your skin. The directions for this also specify that you can use your hands and pat this into your skin or you can use a little cotton pad. It's really up to you. I wanted you guys to see the cotton pad so you can see how much makeup was left on my skin and there really wasn't anything left on there. The cleanser did an excellent job of removing any makeup that I did have so that was nice and I also felt like it definitely didn't feel dry. It didn't feel like it stripped my skin which is also a plus because I have really dry skin. So now I'm going in with their nighttime moisturizer which is going to be more of a cream. I love this moment guys look at how perfect that looks so i wanted to go ahead and use what's on the top as well as on that spatula um yeah i, I go in with the spatula just to be a little more hygienic and once i put that on i give myself another face massage and try to bring it down um, my neck as well i definitely need to get better at moisturizing my neck and i'm really proud of myself because I was lazy, you guys. I did not want to moisturize my body for a little time period. I was just not in the mood when I got out the shower. But we are changing those bad habits and moisturizing my skin from top to bottom because I do not want to look like a reptile. Next thing is going in with these eye patches to hydrate that under eye. When I tell you that these eye patches are luxurious, I felt like they were just amazing first of all they did not move which i loved because in the past eye patches always slip and fall this one definitely stayed on nicely and i definitely felt like it was hydrating that under eye 
final step is making sure that my underarms are smelling good. So I'm going in with my Dove deodorant. And there you have it, a three-step routine. I wanted to just give you guys some girl time um, and just like, let's talk. So first and foremost, I wanted to let you guys know that as far as for the iPads that I'm using from Erna Laszlo, they don't slip, which I have used different eye patches before from different brands. And normally they are like very slippery and I feel like they don't latch onto your under eye. And I actually really like that they're transparent. I think that's a really cool feature because if you're an on-the-go girly like me and maybe you wanted to do this like before you head out somewhere for a no makeup makeup look day, this would be really cool to like drive there with and then obviously like take it off when you get there. And I'm sure your under eye is going to look like snatched and very glowy. As far as for the skincare products, I actually had a pimple here and it looks like it's like not as red anymore. Um, but my skin just looks really soft and smooth. That's one thing that I will say when I went to the actual event, I noticed that when we were doing the Vitality um, treatment mask, which is this guy here, I noticed my skin was not red at all. It did not look irritated and it just looked really glowy, which is one thing I really liked from their brand. I also noticed that when I was using their cleansers, their cleansers don't feel harsh on your skin. So I don't feel like it stripped me to the point where I'm like super dry and I feel like I don't have any oils in my skin, which was excellent as well. So there was a lot that they gave us. This was my first event ever, so I was not expecting like this. This treatment I thought that it was going to be um, completely different my whole experience was definitely one to remember I felt like a baby you guys like I did not want to go to sleep like I felt like I was like I just got home from Disneyland and I met like all the best Disney characters and like could not go to sleep that's how I felt I was definitely on cloud 20 not even cloud 9 and it was just such an amazing experience you can do anything and that's one of the things when I get asked all the time why are you doing this channel the main reason is because one I enjoy it and I love just sharing my story whatever it may be and two because why the hell not like I deserve to go to like events like this just as much as the next person and I just genuinely feel like I have pure intentions like I want to be there because I want to learn about the brand I want to hear the brand story I want to see how I can help tell the brand story and it's just something that I really enjoy get into it so the first thing that we did get in our goodie bag this bag was like packed first of all like it had everything in there um, was this here which was the vitality mask treatment so this one comes with a pack of four and this was one of the um, stations that they had us go through where we actually got to mix the mask with one of their estheticians that they had and they tell you how to use it what are the benefits and all of that good stuff what i really like is they give you this little mixing bowl here so i actually think you can pop it in like this this way actually so you pop it in like this and then it has on here Laszlo Glow which is definitely 100% true and they also have the pack so you pour the pack in here you also get the activation and then you just stir it and then you're gonna put it on I'm gonna do a short tutorial on this on my YouTube shorts and my TikTok but this is awesome if you are the type of person who likes to mix your uh, mask up so that it's fresh all the time this is a really cool gift that they gave us I'm pretty sure they probably sell this if they do I will link it down below but I love this this is amazing and it goes with this here um, they also gave us the pad here to kind of help remove the mask and it does have their logo on it which was really cute and they also gave us a bunch more so I was like oh my god I'm feeling real spoiled right now so there's like a bunch of reusable ones that you can use to cleanse your face so that way you're not doing it with just your hands and maybe if you want to get like extra makeup off or you want to put some makeup remover on here that's really cool and then it has like the reusable bag and just push it to the side then aside from the other moisturizer I used which was the nighttime lotion they gave us this moisturizer which is going to be a mattifying gel moisturizer 
I tried this one on I think more towards the end of the event if I remember correctly this one is supposed to definitely give you more of a matte finish the packaging is really cute I like that this is like kind of like a marble right here oh that's pretty interesting you can actually this is how this is how expensive this is you guys you can see the reflection of the phone in here that is bougie and I love it so if we pop this open this is what it kind of looks like and we could try a little bit on my hand I might just put it on top of this one why not extra extra moisture never hurt nobody so yeah it definitely feels a lot more jelly it almost reminds me of like like the feel of like a toner almost or like a like a serum like a serum but it's just a little bit thicker obviously and I'm gonna just kind of put it in the t-zone areas and we can kind of just see I'm layering this on top of the nighttime one I like creams I feel like my skin is pretty dry for the most part so I don't really use a lot of jelly products I use definitely a lot more thicker hydrating products but their packaging is really cute I think one thing that I really like about this brand is the fact that it just looks very clean. So if you are the type of person who likes to put your products out on the counter, this is going to look expensive on your counter. This isn't going to clash with any colors. It's not going to mess up your decor in your restroom. Like This is definitely going to look really nice, especially on a vanity or on a little tray. 100% this will look, it will look like you take care of yourself. So that's this. It does say on here... After cleansing and toning, dab onto skin and blend into face, neck, and decollete on an upward motion and avoid the eyes. Use morning and night. So it's up to you what your preference is. Again, I go more for the creams, but I also feel like gels are really great too. It just depends maybe on your skin and what you like. Aside from that, one product I am really excited to use is this one here. This one is going to be their Shake It Tinted Skin Treatment. So one of the themes of this event that I went to, it was um, a tribute to Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe is one of the first, if not the only person who actually was prescribed this by Dr. Laszlo. And what made it special was that it was her no makeup makeup look. So if you guys are into all the trends going on right now, that's kind of what people go for. They go for a no makeup makeup look, but we all know they have something on. And this was Marilyn's go-to. I think that's really awesome because she was very ahead of her time. When I think of Marilyn Monroe, I always remember my mom and her just having this huge huge picture of Marilyn in her room of her spraying perfume probably before she was going on to a photo shoot set or something like that or maybe going out on the town but she was such a elegant icon and I definitely feel like it's just really cool to be able to experience her her energy through this product in terms of like just how how elegant she was elegant she was just beautiful beautiful inside and out and I think that that's it's awesome so with this one I haven't been able to try it on recently um, but I would try it on for you guys now but since my skin's clean I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on that but I will do another video with this one I probably would do this with the mask on like a Sunday so that I can show you guys what it will look like especially after doing the mask but I definitely did try it on. I will be honest with you guys, it did kind of have like an alcohol smell to it, which I did overhear a lot of people um, not liking about the product. I personally do have dry skin, so that did kind of scare me a little, but once I actually put it on, I really liked the way it looked. It definitely made your skin look very airbrushed, and I didn't feel like I could see like any of like my um, impurities poking through. It just gave you like a really nice base I would say and it is buildable but I will tell you it's not going to give you a full coverage so just a little insight aside from all of that they also gave us this little brochure and it does kind of give you some more information on the products that we got to take home with us when I tell you guys if you've ever gone to a quinceanera you know how quinceaneras have like the centerpieces and they have like 
you know sometimes other things on the table and things like that for you to take home i thought okay first of all i thought that you would have to buy these products or if you wanted to buy them after the event you could and my friend was like no girl you get it all for free in the goodie bag and i was like oh my gosh this is like spoiled princess treatment but i'm down i saw people snatching up the products in all types of areas and i was like wait is this is this a thing like do you actually take the products wherever they are like is that like okay because i'm a newbie so i didn't know if that was like a thing i didn't touch anything because i was like mm -mm, you break you buy i'm not trying to mess nothing up so i was a good girl and i just stuck to what i got in my bag but let me know if that's a thing because if it is i did not know aside from all of that i did get one other cool thing that i'm excited to try if you guys have been seeing the got to be glue all over tiktok and youtube a lot of girls use this for their edges they use it for their brows they use it for i think their hair a bunch of stuff like actually on their hair um even when they're doing like their lace fronts and they're trying to like apply it here this thing has been all over so i wanted to try it on my brows i tried it the other night i mean i'm gonna wash my face in the morning anyway so i really don't mind but i definitely feel like this gives you the lamination look that you want the one thing that i really liked about it was that it has like this really nice brush so i feel like sometimes the brushes that you get on brow products they don't really go through each individual hair and this one definitely goes through like look at that front like that looks so good i did get my eyebrows laminated earlier this month i want to say it was and it lasts almost three and a half weeks i am excited to do it again because i did listen to my friend michael's instructions and he instructed me on letting some hairs grow in certain sections if you guys remember in my video i think prior to that i mentioned how i went a little tweezer crazy and i like tweezed the heck out of my brows to make them really thin <laughs> so uh, i regretted that but now they look a little bit more full again and this is just with this actual what do you want to call this this brow gel I can't talk clearly but love it for sure so now that these are done I can take them off but look at that glow you guys you can see it on there so there is one other thing that they gave us I had to turn my skincare fridge on because I actually have had it off for a little while and they are already cold but they did give us these guys as well deep puffing globes or a lot of people call them the ice globes um but these are really good for your under eye if you want to deep puff but it's also good for like if you maybe get like tension headaches especially from like being on the computer a lot or being on your phone a lot this will kind of help just give you like a little like you know massage and it's cooling and it just feels good so i really was happy that they gave us these two because i have been wanting these i definitely had my eye on these i love doing facials especially on george so that's really cool that i got to get these in my bag i have a few other ones as well like i do have my jade roller that i like to use that's double-sided so there's like a smaller side as well and then i also have this one that I picked up from Five Below. And what I like about this one is you can actually use it on your body. So if you wanted to kind of give yourself like a little massage, it rolls and it feels really nice. Or you can use it on your face if you wanted to. Normally I use this on my body so I wouldn't want to rub it all over my face. But everything else I would just put it on here. And these are definitely going to help you with the redness as well. So basically the whole shebang a few takeaways one i wanted to let you guys know that i was so nervous going to this event i was gonna make like a full-on 
story detailed um, new vlog on this, but I figured some of you probably are barely getting to know me, so I don't want you guys to feel like I'm just like um, ranting or something like that. I really do want to make these videos a little bit more focused on one thing so we can kind of just accomplish something together. But it was very scary. I was nervous because I, for one, I felt like I was not dressed to the nines the way a lot of these other influencers were. And it was because I was told it was more of like a leisure active wear type of dress code. But apparently people just come dressed up no matter what and I didn't catch that memo. Um, so yeah, the way I was dressed definitely played into my myself sabotage I would say I also felt like I was like just not sure like what to talk to people about um I did talk to my friend and he was like honestly when you go to these events normally whoever's hosting it they usually will come up to you and like kind of conversate with you see who it is that contacted you to come to the event and like kind of just chit chat with you to see what you're doing like with your content creations and nobody really talked to us but they're um you know, their crew that was working was a third party, so it made sense that they weren't really talking to us as much. So that was like another thing I just felt like I kind of didn't know who was actually there that was associated directly with the brand. Other than in the workshops, you could tell who was actually with the brand by like the lab coats they were wearing. I did talk to the, one of the girls that was there and she was super sweet and she shared with us like her skincare story on how her skin basically changed and she had like no makeup on and was looking like super glowy. So that was really fun and yeah I just definitely was in my head a lot. I'm happy to say that I've done it at this point and I know what to expect. I know that I'm a person who is definitely more reserved when it comes to being a learner so I definitely was trying to take it all in learn and just kind of like observe what was going on but I'm very thankful I hope to get invited to another event with this brand again Erna Laszlo you guys made it feel so just so relaxing I was definitely intimidated walking through those doors but once I got through Everyone was super nice. The vibe was very chill. It was very relaxed. And I just genuinely felt like I could just be myself, which was good. And it just helped me relax more. They did have like a cool little um, like warm-up section where you could do like breath work and things like that. And I really felt like I needed that because at that moment, I was definitely not breathing correctly. So that was good. And yeah, so this was my nighttime skin routine with the Erno Laszlo brand. I hope you guys really enjoyed seeing the products. I will do a, another video with the other products that I did not try on today. And if you guys have any questions or any comments or if you guys want to know more about something, leave me a comment. I will definitely respond. And if you have any video requests moving forward, you know what to do. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not like this video, give it a thumbs down and let me know why. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great night and I will see you on the next vlog.